also have some people and our net that are beginners and our next comic he's making his stage zoom debut as a stand-up comedian and we're really proud of him he's worked really hard i think you're gonna crack up when you meet mr julio cruz Woo! hi my name is julio cruz and like the others i'm an alcoholic what what <laughs> Oh, wrong meeting. Oops, wrong meeting. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our stand-up comedy show. Stand-up comedy show. My name is Julio Cruz, and I am a Latino. I know I don't have the typical stereotype to think of a Latino. I practically think with a lot of freckles. And... Uh, Puerto Rican. And if you know any Puerto Rican, you know... That we came, we come in different size, colors, and flavors. <laughs> I just turned 41, and ugh, everybody is calling me sir and make me feel old. So, for centuries, man needed food, sleep, and sex to survive. For an old guy like me, I need fiber, 70, 72 hours of sleep, and boner pills. That's it! To survive! Yeah! <laughs> you always hear you, all, you are all as a state of mind. It's like a Hallmark card. No! Oh, getting old is so amazing! <gasps> no, getting old is nothing to be proud of. It, it sucks. Really. Right, Hallmark? You, you are going to understand me. Yeah, because, no, getting old is not so amazing. Because when I look at the mirror, my forehead is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> Seriously, my forehead is so big that you can watch an entire movie on it. But let me tell you something, at least I'm not like my brother. He has a botanical garden growing out through his ear. I swear it's like, like a new ecosystem. It's amazing. They should film the new Avatar movie there. Now, another thing that made me feel old is the way and everything turns difficult and offensive. For example, airline imposed the fat fee. If you are heavy, they charge you for an, uh, for an additional seat, right? Finding new clothes is an adventure if you don't have a big and tall nearby. But the most thing that I hate is getting old social. These days, we must be careful with the work we say. People are careful nowadays. nowadays. You can't say fat anymore <laughs> because you you may you might hurt someone's feeling. <laughs> Try to live in Paris. They don't give a shit about your feelings. <laughs> you know what they used to tell me? Watch this. You are fat outside, but you are beautiful inside. Like everybody has X-ray vision or something. The girl said, you are not fat, you're chubby. I love you. As a friend. Oh my God. You have, and this one, my mother used to say, to, to, to tell me that. You have big bones. That's why you are heavy. And, <laughs> you're not Nemo, you're a whale. With the pandemic comes. Quarantine, and I gained weight. I, I, I realized that I gained weight. So I met a friend. Damn! You are so fat, your belly doesn't let you see your little body. <laughs> First of all, how the hell did he knew I have a small penis? He's not so close to me. So I look at him and say, you know what? 
you're right. I can't see my own penis. But your mom does. <laughs> I was at a restaurant and I swear to God, the waiter was checking me out. And I said, hey, hey, buddy, eyes up here. Okay. <laughs> By the way, I was so excited because it was the first time in my whole life that someone was checking me out. So I decided to call my wife and said, hello, baby. How you doing? Eh? Let me tell you something. You better don't mess up. Because I have options. And then she replied. 